Today I'm doing a little short video on bending J channel to go around the curved top of a window. Um, before I set the camera on the tripod and start bending, I want to point out what goes wrong if you're not careful. Uh, you can see here there's a little gap and this isn't smooth. That usually happens when you get too much heat on the inside flange and when you that's the main problem and if you try to pull the J channel instead of just twisting it into place and I'll show you a little bit about that in just a moment. Now the reason I'm doing this video is not that I'm an expert because I certainly am not but what I haven't been able to find much on YouTube showing me how to do this so I'll show you guys what I do right or wrong better or worse you're on your own whether you <laughs> want to do this or not but as I mentioned the key first thing you do is I make a pattern here that has the same curve as the window I'm going to fit. Um, I tried it once up on the side of the building with the window and it was it was an unmitigated disaster. I mean you just can't work up there. Um, you know you're trying to heat up the plastic here on this flange you end up melting the tie back. It, it just well it just didn't work. Let's put it that way. So I made this form with the right shape. I've got the J channel. I've got my heat gun. I'm going to put the heat gun on low and I'm going to try to direct the heat on this flange and maybe a little bit on this edge. I do not want heat here because when I get heat here, you know, it softens this up and when you pull it against this form, it, it tends to buckle and you get goofy shapes. The other thing is that, that I can mention, you want to twist it like this and not just pull so that you don't get too much pressure along this edge and again buckle the stuff. So I'm going to turn the heat gun on low. Um, I don't know what wattage it is. And I'm going to direct the heat as much as possible on these edges here and not and avoid the flange. And you work slowly and I'm twisting, you know, pushing with my thumb, pulling with my fingers, you can see my left hand there. And and it's coming into place. And then once it's there, I'm going to shut the heat gun off, stop and work it down a bit. And it's, it springs back some, but that's not the end of the world because I can nail it up. And that, that little bit of bend looked pretty good. And I'm letting it cool off a bit so that when I start bending this part, I don't end up overheating and buckling over here. So I'll go to the next section. Heat gun's on low. I'm directing heat away from that, uh, from the flange, or whatever you want to call the base, the bottom of the J. Twisting, not just pulling. Too much heat and this whole thing softens up and you've got a disaster on your hands. Now it's starting to twist up here. i got to hold this down. Keep this down so it stays flat on my board. I don't want it to twist this way. I'm going to stop for a minute, let it cool, see where I'm at, see what i got to do. Maybe I'll go back here and heat it just a little bit more. doesn't take a lot of heat. Pushing it down. I could be wearing gloves. It, it's hot, but it's not burning my fingers, you know. I'm not some kind of Superman. <laughs> you just don't want to use too much heat. If you're burning your fingers, you've probably got too much heat. And we'll just work our way along. And I'm trying to twist and hold it down, not so much pull, because I don't want to buckle it. And it, it's not going to be perfect. I'm going to have to come back and adjust that area right there a little bit, I think. Maybe what I'll do is when I get a little bit further on, I'll put a screw in it to hold it and see what I can do to work that down. the way that's buckling up. I've done this a couple times because I got uh, curved arches over the garage door as well as over these windows. This is the tightest of the curves. So this is the 
most difficult one that I have. Okay, I'm going to put a screw in it here and see if I can't work this into a better shape. I'm going to turn the film off for a second. Okay, and I also mentioned um, when I cut this form, I actually cut it extra long, give me a little extra room to get it started. And then when it's all done, I can trim this off as appropriate. Right now, this is starting to twist up this way on me. I don't like that. I'm going to play with it, see what I can get. Which means I'm going to try and get, and this time I am going to get some heat inside here and try to work it down. Not too much because it doesn't take much to turn this stuff into putty and then you're just... You know, you just got a mess on your hands. Looks a little better. Probably all you can see is my hands and not what's really going on. But that's, that's better. It, it's not going to be perfect. Fortunately, this window's up on the second floor. That really helps a lot. I'm going to heat this top flange a little bit. It seems, you know, from what I've learned, trial and error, too much heat is a bad thing. Other than that, we're probably good. Okay. So I'm going to go back to heating this. See if I can't move it along. Let me let that cool for just a moment. It's not bad. I'm going to start working it down. See what happens when I put it up. Okay, we're getting close to the end. I should also mention what I did before is don't be surprised if you ruin two or three of these before you get one that looks quarter way decent. But with a little practice and you know, a little trial and error, it does seem to come out okay. And I'm just going to finish this one up and then I'll turn it to length after I've done bending and we'll nail it up and I'll take a picture and we'll see what it looks like nailed up. Trying to keep the heat on the outside and again I'm twisting with my left hand. I'm not just pulling it against the form. I'm seeing I'm having a problem with the kind of lifting up here. I'll heat this area up and push that down in just a minute. Okay, here it is. I'm ready to nail it up. You can see the flange is a little, you know, it's not perfect. And a couple places where I overheated it, I don't know how easy it is to see. You can see the dents here where, um, you know, I got too hot, hot and too much pressure against the form. And there's some dents there. I think that light's a little better. But, well, at some point, you got to say good enough. There it is installed. Uh, it's not perfect. I, you know, somebody who's better at this might do a better job than I, but I just thought I'd show you what I had. Uh, and of course at this point you're probably asking, doesn't this moron know about flexible J-channel? The answer is yes, I know about flexible J-channel. I've used it before. And as bad as this looks, it's not half as ugly as that flexible stuff, at least in my opinion. Uh, you know, J-channel's ugly enough on its own and you start mixing in different colors because the flexible stuff comes in any color you want as long as it's white to paraphrase Henry Ford and and it just it just doesn't match up at all so this is what I got uh, if it was helpful great if not well that's life take care bye and there's the finished product so not bad you know Considering a little practice, you might even get good at it. Later.